Hi everyone, this is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air. This car is made in 1 to 18 scale by a Sunstar American Collectibles. If you like Bel Airs, don't miss this video, see it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and to click bell for news. So let's unbox it and take a better look at it. And here we have the Bel Air. It's out of its box. This car is made in this very nice black color in the 1 to 18 scale by Sunstar American Collectibles. And it's a very attractive car. I really like those 1950s Chevys. The front of this car is very well made with this very nice looking grille. Uh, reminds a little bit of a Cadillac with those blinkers right here and those headlights would look pretty much realistic. We have this bow tie logo right here, this emblem, which is a separate piece as well as this hood ornament. And as we pop the hood open, we can see the engine bay with a blue flame straight six engine, the battery, the air filter, intake manifold, the cables and wires. Uh, the engine bay itself, which, which is very well made, and the radiator. The hood itself is well made. Uh, the hinges are a little bit thick, but they are not really that thick, just like we find in some different cars. The hood opens and closes correctly, and the trim around the windshield is pretty much correct. We are starting to have those carved windshields in 1953, actually, uh, which is not so different from 1954. Basically, the grill, bumpers, and some details, but they're basically the same car. The trim around the windows is also pretty much correct. As we open the door, passenger door, we can see this black and white interior. We can see a steering wheel with uh, the gear lever right there in the steering column, and the dashboard, which looks very nice. The gauges are quite simple. The rear view mirror is on the dashboard, and we have a Chevrolet logo right there on the dash. There is no headliner, that's just a piece of well, acrylic that it's actually the piece of acrylic off of windows with some, some visors at the top, at top of them. Trim is pretty much correct. This trim looks very nice with this Bel Air right here made in the chrome trim with the white uh, deco right there. The fender skirt, which could be uh, would be removable in a, the original car, and we'll soon be showing a Nash, a Nash Metropolitan, which doesn't have this removable uh, fender skirt. So changing tires in that car would be a pain, actually. Rear of car, which looks very good, with the Power Glide logo and the bow tie emblem right there. It's a badge, a separate badge. And the trunk lid that opens and closes correctly with a spare tire, a white wall spare tire, a steel wheel. This plastic here that simulates the rubber mat. We can see the bumper with the bumper guards, which are pretty much realistic. And the exhaust, the exhaust pipe right here. It's a single exhaust pipe since it's a straight six engine. Trim on the left side, the wheels and tires look very nice. Driver's door has a little misalignment here, but it's not a big deal, but it's something that sometimes it's a little bit unpleasant. The steering wheel, which looks very nice, the dashboard we've seen before, and this trim here that has this little protection against rain. The antenna, which is pretty much correct. And as we look at the bottom of the car, we can see that the chassis is pretty well made. It's a, it's a single piece of plastic. It's quite simple with the muffler, the engine training and drive shaft, uh, rear and front axles, the gas tank, which is in the correct color, the shocks. Um, basically, all pieces here are in black. Just the drive shaft is the same color of the training, and the engine is in the right color steering system that actually works. It's uh, quite simple really. This is the body and chassis so we can see the frame and the floor of the car which is pretty well made. This is a very nice classic American car to have in a 50's cars collection so I would really advise you to have this car. It's very nice. So from uh, 
from 0 to 10, I would give a 9 to this car. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I just don't give a 10 because of this little misalignment here, but the car itself as a whole is very nice. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to give me a thumbs up, and to click bell for news. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.